Yo, what is up, everybody? Your boy E Man from the Average Joe Sports Talk Podcast. It's that time of the year again, baby. Fantasy football is almost upon us. Ah, the season is almost here. We're exactly a week away, and I'm bringing you the recap of the greatest fantasy football league, the Midtown Brigade, from this past Saturday's draft. As y'all know, your boy is the defending champ. There it is, your boy right there, garbage man champ right there. First place winner last year who completely annihilated the competition, destroyed Maximus in the uh, qualifier, and then completely made mincemeat out of the team's crews. And I know everybody is gunning for me. Everybody's hating. Everybody wants that belt from your boy. They'll, I got a target on my back. But anyway, we'll see. Season starting up soon. But today, we're going to go and let's do a quick recap, all right? Let's hit the highlights of this past weekend's draft, the Midtown Brigade Fantasy Football Draft. So without further ado, let's go Let's go see what's popping, baby. You know, I'm going to do a quick uh, kind of go down to this. So we're going to break this down by rounds. I don't know if I'm going to do every round, but, you know, at the beginning, the first four rounds, because there's a lot of meat and potatoes, we're probably going to review and give you my take on each pick and then after that we might just hit the highlights of the later rounds because you know in the later rounds is what i like to call pump and dump you're gonna pump them up with uh picks that are shoulda coulda or stash and then you're gonna dump them in uh, the waiver wire but anyway first pick of the year it was for team broadway and of course no secret there he went jonathan taylor got him out on wednesday uh the man he's been sour man the dude's been sour he is uh he is on a rampage this year he wants your boy's head on a platter He's pissed off that he was eliminated because uh, Lamar Jackson was not able to stay in the game. And his loss was my game because even though I lost the last game for the last four games of the season, head-to-head I beat him. So I qualified even though I lost, and so did he, and he couldn't qualify. So he's sore about that. You know what I'm saying? Your boy went through the championship. The end of the story. But Christian McCaffrey, high-ceiling, high-risk, high-reward player. If we know if Christian McCarthy is healthy, you're going to get you're going to get a stud here. So Galama took a, a very calculated risk, and I would have done the same thing uh, picking Christian McCaffrey at second. Good pick, Galama, all right? Don't worry about it, brother. We'll, we'll see you in, game, in week three. Uh, Jess Greedy, baby, Justin Jefferson. Again, either Cooper Cup or Justin. I guess he didn't want to roll with Cooper Cup last year because, remember, Jess Greedy was cut my nuts. I mean, I mean, cut my balls. That was the name of his team, and Cooper Cup was his boy. But, hey, man, he went Justin Jefferson instead. Uh, vicious team, vicious. Yeah, he's got to go with Cooper Cup. He's available. You know, the guy that led all the offensive categories last year. And the beast, Derek Henry, goes to New York Rico. No surprise there. Team Bring It, the previous champ, the one, you know, I, I received the trophy from. Uh, Austin Eckler, solid pick. You got to go with uh, Austin Eckler, who is a PPR dream running back. Uh, Najee Harris by New Era. Najee is going to be a workhorse uh, with the, how weak of the quarterback play is going to be this year with um, with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, Because we don't know what you're going to get from Trubisky. And then, you know, Kenny Pickett is a rookie. He's probably going to jump in. Alvin Kamara, waiver wire studs. Hey, Kamara right now, it's iffy. We don't know how many games he's going to be out. We all know he's got to get suspended. Excuse me, I got to take a quick sip. We just do not know how many games is the man going to get suspended right now. Here we go. Boom, Team Cruz went after Joe Mixon, who's like, it was like ranked number 15 in the ADP with the 10th pick. South Florida Spanish Ninjas, DeAndre Swift. He was, I think, 14th or 15th, if I'm not mistaken. Boom, he didn't give a shit. He went after with the 11th pick. And, of course, Jamar Chase drops down to your boy at number 12, who was his ADP. His average draft position was six, and he drafted. So, you know, at this point, I came in to load up with running backs. But as soon as Mixon and DeAndre Hook and DeAndre Swift were off the board, I said, damn, time to switch the script. And go zero back running back strategy right there, baby. And uh, Jamar Chase had to, had to pick Jamar Chase. He won me the league last year. I am hoping I'm getting a repeat of that. And of course, if it's on the 12th pick, which I think it's a conspiracy because the champ got the 12th pick. Hey, it doesn't matter. 12th pick, 13th pick, 14th pick. Your boy's going to do is going to have one of the greatest drafts in the world. Picked up Devontae Adams with the 13th pick because that's what, that's what I do. I got to pick 12 and 13, and then you don't pick again for 24 picks. But anyway, Devontae Adams. Got to go with my new strategy, which is load up on wide receivers and try to pick as many wide receivers as you can and then go running back. So I went from, I went to the, uh, from the, all the, from uh, a bunch of, I went from zero run, uh, wide receiver strategy, which was my original strategy, to zero running back strategy now, and I'm going buck wild on wide receivers. All right, Spanish Ninjas, well, good solid pick. You got to go with Stefan Diggs here. Uh, Tim Cruz, I'm a little surprised. He went for Debo Samuel. I know Debo. Just got a new contract, and the boy performed really good. He was on my team last year, but I don't think he's going to get a repeat 
uh, from Debo, that same uh, same stats he had last year. So I think I would have gone CeeDee Lamb here instead of Debo. But look, Debo, Debo is a stud, man. And I think, uh, you know, let's see what happens. Maximus, look, Saquon Barkley, a very high-risk but high-reward pick. And look, he's going to be the feature back. He's going to be the guy that's going to get all the targets even in the driving seat. If Saquon is healthy, we may not see a 2018 Saquon, but I think we're going to see a 1,400 all-purpose year yards for Saquon if he's healthy. Tariq Hill, waiver wire studs have to go for that. New era for Javante Williams. Ah, man, Javante, I mean, right now, New era is playing what he's supposed to do. He's getting the opportunities. He has solid running backs with Najee Harris and then Javante Williams. I would have done the same thing. I would have gone running back, running back. Tim Brinkett, Leonard Fournette, baby, Lenny time, baby, Lenny playoff. He picked Leonard Fournette last year from waivers, and now he's killing it. And went ahead and did that. He had to because, you know, in the first round, Brinkett went Austin Eckler. Running back, running back, you got to do with that. Rico with Keenan Allen, um, you know, he went by the ADP. Aaron Jones by Vicious, another solid pick. Right now, uh, Vicious is uh, Cooper Cup and Aaron Jones. If Aaron Jones is healthy, man, you're going to have a solid year. He scores a lot of touchdowns, especially in an offense where there's the lack of wide receivers for um, Aaron Rodgers. So I think Aaron Jones is going to be running the ball a lot, even catching out of the backfield. James Conner for Jess Gritty. Uh, look, I don't know if James Conner is going to have the same impact running back-wise, touchdown-wise, because he's he's kind of like uh, a health – he has health issues most of the time. But he is the feature back, and, you know, him resigning, it's going to – you know, he's going to get all the touches. CeeDee Lamb, great job at Gallimard. I hate to say great job to Gallimard, but I'm going to give credit where credit is due. Fell down to Gallimard, and look, uh, Christian McCaffrey and CeeDee Lamb, you got two solid first pick. Team Broadway, who was the number one pick, goes with Kelsey. Uh, I'm surprised here. I'm a – you know – I know Kelsey's gonna is gonna be the best receiver on that team, but man, he's gonna get covered a lot. So, and Kelsey's up there in age already too. I don't know if he's gonna be able to repeat that kind of offense, but I would have gone different there. Um, I love the second pick. He started uh, Team Broadway started the third round with uh, Michael Pittman. I think Michael Pittman's gonna have a huge year with uh, Matt Ryan out there. So I think that was a solid pick, great pick. Uh, Gallimard on Wednesdays, man, he loves him some Mark Andrews, bro. He's gonna take naked Lamar, naked. Andrews without Lamar Jackson. So, hey, you know what? It's a high-risk, high-reward kind of pick. Just greedy, solid pick. I think Cortland Sutton right here. Cortland Sutton is going to have a huge year because he's been over 1,000 yards the last two seasons receiving with shitty quarterbacks. And now he has Russell Wilson, right? Let Russell cook, baby. I would have gone Russell uh, Wilson with Cortland Sutton stack, but, you know, that was just me. Um, Mike Evans, my vicious. Mike Evans, uh, it's going to be the feature along with Julio Jones. And Russell Gage coming in this year because Chris Godwin's going to take about four or five games out. So that first four games, man, it's going to be all Evans, Brady to Evans all day, every day. Nick Chubb, man, my boy from last year. Rico, I mean, Rico, look, I'm going to give Rico credit, man. Rico started hot here. All right, let's go back to this. Rico, Derek Henry. Then you got Rico with Keenan Allen. And then, you know, Nick Chubb, man. Rico, Rico put making some moves. Team Bring It, man. Team Bring It loves that Kyle Pitts, man. He loves himself some Kyle Pitts. Got Kyle Pitts with his third pick. It is what it is. He's available. I think he's going to have all the targets. Uh, Cal Calvin Ridley is gone for the year. You know, he betted on himself, and guess what? He got popped. Uh, so Kyle Pitts uh, its going to be the man that's going to get all the freaking targets for Marcus Mariota. New era, a baby going A.J. Brown here. Um, look, A.J. Brown should have an amazing year. Uh, I don't think he's going to have as good of a year because I'm, I don't trust Jalen Hurst, who's a running quarterback. So I think A.J. Brown's going to do okay, but I don't think he's going to be as good as he was in uh, – Tennessee, because, uh, you know, uh, Jalen Brown's not a great thrower. Um, but Jalen Rager was traded was uh, traded this uh, earlier during the last week, I'm sorry. And guess what? More targets for A.J. Brown. D.J. Moore. D.J. Moore is a great pick by Wave of Wire Studs. I'm going to tell you why. Because he's going to be the feature wide receiver there. And I think Baker gives him a better out and a better opportunity to be more successful than Sam Darnold, which that's why Baker is a starter. That's why they traded for Baker. Man, your boy's happy. Travis ATM by Maximus. Man, I wanted a Travis ATM, baby. I wanted him because I know he's going to have a big year. Good pick by Maximus. Josh Jacobs. Look, there were some rumors around Josh Jacobs trades, but that's bullshit because Josh Jacobs is. So in that offense now, uh, having Devontae Adams, Hunter Renfro, and uh, Mark Waller out there, these three studs at, at, a, at a wide receiver and tight end, I think it's going to open up some room for the running game and a lot of like opportunities for in the passing game for Jacobs to also go get it. Uh, David Montgomery, South Florida Spanish Ninja, solid pick. He fell this far back. Um, I mean, just look at the trend, right? We, we have like four wide, three straight running backs chosen in the, in the previous pick before me. So, you know, I couldn't do what I needed to do. 
But Montgomery's a solid pick. I think he's going to have a great year. PPR-wise, he's not a great asset, but the man's going to definitely get at least 20, over 20-plus 20 carries a game. Mike Williams was my next pick. So right now, your boy has, has probably top three running backs. I mean, top three wide receivers. All wide receiver ones in their teams. So that's where I'm banking all my money. All right? That the wide receivers are going to bail me out this year. Brees Hall. Excuse my dog back there, man. We got a new baby puppy, bro, and he's on fire. His name is Pretzel. Uh, Brees Hall. Switch the script out here. I could have gone another way, but I could have gone another wide receiver, but I needed a running back. And I think Brees Hall is going to be that third down, that three down back. Not only he could catch it, but he could also run it. And Michael Carter and him are going to play a good combination. So I'm taking a huge risk on Brees Hall. Listen, a rookie won it for me last year in Jamar Chase. I'm thinking Brees Hall can be that, can bring that lightning in a bottle. Terry McLaurin, at this point, you got to have to pick what's on the board. Uh, South Florida Spanish Ninja, that's all the pick. T. Higgins by Cruz. I faced Cruz in week one. He has, uh, I think he picked Joe Burrows later on, so he has his stack. And, uh, you know, I have Jamar Chase. It's going to be interested in week one. Amon St. Brown, great pick by Maximus. Uh, this guy is going to be, uh, an- I think he's going to have a great year because they're ro- the Williams, who they drafted, was a rookie. He's not going to start the season. He's actually hurt. Zeke Elliott, um, you know, we know Zeke hasn't been the same in the last couple of years, but look, he's there. And waiver wire studs is so obsessed with Dallas because his favorite football team, even though he grew up in Brooklyn, um, is so obsessed with Dallas. He's obsessed with Dallas, who wants Prescott. So he wants to, like, have all the Dallas Cowboys on his squad. But he's starting to start with Zeke. Uh, Josh Allen, okay, it's a great time to uh, draft the running back. He picked a number two. So I would definitely go for uh, Josh Allen here because he's actually made himself some good picks, wide receivers and running back wise. So I'm okay with him drafting Allen this early. I wouldn't, I would never have done it, but that's still not bad. Jalen Waddle, team breaker. Look, Jalen Waddle is going to have, have a complete beneficiary of the double teams from Tariq Hill. People don't think so, but Jalen Waddle is going to have a big year. All right. He's going to, PPR, this kid's going to get a lot of receptions. He's going to have a lot of receptions this year and a lot of targets. Because guess what? He's going to benefit from the double team from Tariq Hill. Deontay Johnson. Look, Deontay Johnson here. Um, this is the problem with Deontay. He was Big Ben's favorite. We don't know who Mitch Trubisky or Kenny Pickett later on is going to gravitate to. You know, George Pickens has gone wild in the preseason. So it's kind of like an iffy pick. But, you know, Deontay last year did average. I mean, I don't know how many targets this guy had, but he led the league in targets, if I'm not mistaken. Dura Waller, uh, tight end, great pick here. It felt really right for Vicious here at this point in the fourth round. So uh, he's going to have a huge year. He's going to benefit also from the attention. Um, Devonte Adams is going to get J.K. Dobbins, man. You know, it's all about can he come back healthy from that torn ACL? That's a big question. High risk, high reward. Cam Akers, I just don't trust Cam Akers. Uh, he's a solid individual. He looked okay. I think he came back from injury last year. Came back from that ACL tear, pretty, pretty solid and pretty good. Let's see what happens. I think, I think uh, Henderson and this team, it's going to. Probably take a lot of goal line opportunities away from Cam Akers because he's just a bigger body. And Team Broadway, man, uh, goes with Patrick Mahomes. He just, you know, team, that's what Team Broadway does, bro. He goes on he goes on orthodox here. So I don't know if I would have drafted Patrick Mahomes this early with the lack of uh, weapons he has this year with Tyreek leaving. All right, Brandon Cook by Team Broadway. I like Brandon Cook. I like this pick by Broadway. I'm gonna tell you why. Because. Brandon Cook is going to have all the freaking targets from uh, Mills, all right? From da- I think it's David Mills, the quarterback. So it's gonna, he's going to be all over the freaking field, along with Nico Collins. Jerry Judy, you know, I, I, I would have probably passed on Jer- um, Judy. Uh, I know he hasn't, um, he hasn't developed in the wide receiver of Alabama. I know he's been injured. I know he's been playing with shitty quarterbacks. Everybody's saying that Russell Wilson is going to you know, bring the real Jerry Judy out, a la you know, DK Metcalf. Uh, I don't know if that's going to happen. I think Jared Judy is just a bag of salt uh, of uh, of bad goods uh, that were that was just drafted and hasn't developed what they thought it was going to be, and maybe he's not going to be that player. Lamar Jackson by Greedy. I think it's time. Fifth round. This is where I start picking quarterbacks. That's what I would have done in that pick. I think it's a solid pick. Lamar Jackson gives you the high ceiling on the ground and over the air, and that's like drafting another running back. Justin Herbert by Vicious. At this point, he's he's you know you got to go with Herbert in the fifth round if it's available. Team Bring It, man. Kyler, um, Kyler Murray. Uh, again, uh, New York Rico, Gabe Davis. Look, I am not high on, on Gabriel Davis. I'm going to tell you why. He's, he's just, he, this average draft position, his, his ranking was all based on the fact that this kid blew it up in the playoffs. 
That doesn't mean it's going to translate in the regular season. Not a fan of that pick. Look, I may be wrong. I'm not an expert. Chris Godwin by New Era. He's going to be out a few games. This is a stash move. Uh, New Era has had, you know, he could afford to do the stash move. I can, but he can. So I, I, I'm i okay with that. DK Metcalf for Waiver Wire Studs. At this point, he's, you got to get desperate here for uh, Waiver Wire Studs. DK, I think DK is still going to perform well, regardless of his Geno Smith, who's starting, and then they switch a script to uh, Drew Locke. Or the best thing that could happen to DK if they trade for um, Jimmy Garoppolo and then, you know, season save. George Kittle. You know, George Kittle fell down long enough. Again, I'm not a fan of picking uh, tight ends. I, I, I do bargain bin tight ends. But, look, George Kittle is paced to hopefully get a good season and targets from Trey Lance. I don't feel comfortable with Trey Lance being the starting quarterback, which he lacks all these – he lacks the passing ability. And the accuracy. And, you know, Jim, with Jimmy G is a different story because Jimmy G targeted the hell out of George Kittle. Tim Cruz, man, he's so obsessed to beat me. He picked T. Higgins earlier on. Now he goes with Joe Money Burrow uh, because he wants to beat me so bad in that, in that rematch that he is just going buck wild. Um, Dalton Schultz, I, you know, that, that, that's a safe pick. Um, again, I don't, I, I, don't, I don't waste my picks early in tight ends, but I think, you know, we're going to see a lot of that, that Dallas with uh, Amari Cooper leaving, leaving a lot, leaving a lot of targets, and I think Gallup is also kind of hurt, so he might take a couple of games to get back into full, you know, full swing. Elijah Mitchell, man, Elijah, man, um, my second running back chosen, uh, and I think Elijah healthy, Elijah Will, Mitchell, I'm sorry, not Wilson, he is gonna surprise a lot of people. Last year when he was healthy, this man was a double digit scorer, and in that running scheme, I'm okay with that. I'm gonna go back to back running backs with Clyde Edwards Hilaire. At this point, I am just bringing individuals in. In order to just make sure I fill positions, Clyde Edwards Hilaire should benefit and is going to be the number one feature back with KC, especially in the fact that there's less wide receivers and he's going to get some targets in the passing game. You got Ronald Jones as your backup, Jet McKinnon. Clyde Edwards Hilaire should have his best season as a Kansas City Chief this year. Damon Pierce, man, South Florida Ninja must know something we don't know. He knew uh, Marlon Mack was not going to be the number one back. And he they were, we got to get released. But, man, he went early for Damian Pierce. Uh, everybody's high on Damian Pierce. I was going to draft Damian Pierce, but not in the sixth round. But he went and shot and flipped the script. Went early. Ninja is known for this. In the years that I drafted with him from the beginning of the league, man, Ninja just goes heavy for those hidden gems and those diamond in the roughs earlier than usual, earlier than later. I like this pick by Team Cruz, man. Ramon J. Stevenson is going to be the starter at one point in New England, all right, over Harris. Why? Because the man not only is... It's, it's a better running back, more athletic, but can also catch it out of the backfield. Love Rashad Bateman for Maximus here. I would have loved him more as a uh, stack with uh, Lamar Jackson, but he's going to be the number one receiver in for the Ravens, and, is, and he's going to have a decent year. Daniel Mooney's going to get all the targets with uh, Justin Fields. It's just Justin Fields scares me because of how bad that old offensive line is and also his decision-making. Michael Thomas. High risk, high reward here, but new era aid. You got to go for Michael Thomas here, regardless of who's back quarterback. And I'm thinking Michael Thomas is not going to be that guy from 18 and 19 where he was just number one wide receiver in the league. But I think, you know, with a healthy, um, famous Jameis Winston, I think we, you, you got to get some positive yardage and positive output from him. Again, high risk, high reward, Michael Thomas here. Not a fan of Amari Cooper here with Team Brigham. All right, Jacoby Brissett, that's all. Enough said. TJ Hawkinson, good pick here. He's a, he's a, he's a, a tight end that you could definitely do the sixth round. Um, Chase Edmonds, uh, Vicious went out for him. I think that's, he's, that's okay. Chase Edmonds is going to be the starter for Miami, but that running game is going to be split a lot between Raheem. Even though they, re, they um, release uh, Sony Michelle, you still got uh, Gaskin. So uh, it's going to be a dirty backcourt, a dirty backfield. It's going to be a very, very dirty backfield. But Jay Simmons should be your RB1. Hunter is going to have another good season. I don't think he's going to have the great season as last year. But who do you think they're going to throw the ball to when they double team Devontae Adams? It's going to be Hunter Renfro, especially in the slot. Allen Robinson, another high risk, high reward. This is one of the players that I was targeting. Uh, and Gallimard, you know, Gallimard did his homework. I give him credit. You know, I did his, but you know, it also helps that he has the number two pick anyway. But, you know, High risk, high reward. I think Allen Robinson can be um, a player this year that being traded and signing with a new team is going to benefit his game. Adam Thielen by Team Broadway. This is where the fucking shit show starts. Jalen Hurts, great pick. I'm going to give you highlights out of the next uh, rounds. I'm not going to go to every single pick, but I'm going to tell you what. Jalen Hurts, I was definitely, you got to pick Jalen Hurts. Fantasy football, baby, PPR. 
you go for running quarterbacks. Great pick by Galamad. Uh, Devin Singletary, just a bad, bad backfield in with Sack Moss and now James Cook. It's really crowded in the backfield for uh, for the Buffalo Bills. Sack Ertz, yeah, you know, uh, again, I, I will wait late. Uh, Sack Ertz is going to be a hit or miss. Miles Sanders, he's just having a bad camp. He, knows he, he even asked people not to even draft him in fantasy. Uh, Rico, I think it's, yeah, at seven, drafting Tom Brady if he's available. I think it's solid, especially with his uh, pick position. Kareem Hunt with Team Bill, Team Bring It. Look, there's going to be a lot of running and that backfield for uh, the Browns because, you know, it's Jacoby Brissett, a starting quarterback. So I think both both guys are going to get a lot of a lot of exposure in that backfield. Juju Smith-Schuster is about time to go in that rhyme. He's going to come back, and hopefully he's going to be the man in Kansas City, which I don't know, man. I don't know how much of his success in Pittsburgh was lighting up next to uh, crazy man. Oh, shit, what's his name, bro? Antonio Brown. Let's see. We'll see because he's going to be the number one guy there. Damian Harris, you got to go with Damian. Last year he had a great season, but I think at one point, Rashawn, um, Romandre Stevenson is going to be uh, the starting uh, running back. A.J. Dillon, solid. You got This is a guy that's going to share the backfield. He's one of those backups that's going to get a lot of playing time. So, uh, Cordell Patterson, not not a fan. Uh, Terry Algier, Algier is going to be the starting quarterback before the season ends, probably by the third or fourth game. Um, he had a good year last year. He's a PPR dream, but I don't know how much uh, exposure he's going to have. Christian Kirk, South Florida Spanish Ninjas. Kirk should be uh, the feature wide receiver in that team in Jacksonville. They paid him a lot of money. Tony Pollard. Look, at this point, I have nobody else starters, but Tony Pollard is going to be starting alongside Zeke, and I heard that he's also going to be featured as the feature uh, in the slot also. All right, let's take a look at round eight. I'm going to hit high laps. Uh, your boy, of course, is going to feature himself. Russell Wilson. I wish I had the Cortland Sutton stack. But I got to go with Russ. Round eight is time for a quarterback. South Florida Spanish Ninja broke the heart of waiver wire stud by picking Zap Prescott. All right. He even had him in his queue. The only player I had in his whole freaking queue in his whole drive, and he couldn't get it. Uh, look, uh, let me see here. Aaron Rodgers, another another high risk reward pick here uh, by waiver wire studs. A new era did a good job with Dallas Goddard. He's going to have a lot of exposure in that team. Not a fan of Marquise Brown here by Bring It. Drake London remains to be seen with Mariota, but he is one of the top rookie wide receivers. I don't know what the hell Vicious is doing picking a defense in the round eight. Enough said. I mean, dude, you don't pick a defense until, like, your last two picks, bro. You just wasted a pick. You were doing so good, Vicious. You were doing so good, and you picked the damn defense. What's wrong with you, bro? Uh, and, look, Antonio Gibson is going to be uh, – now the Brian uh, – the, the kid that – Brian Johnson or uh, the, the kid that just got shot who was doing really good for Washington in the preseason, he's going to be out. So, man, Galamad is looking like a genius on this one, even though it was pure luck. Adam Lazard, solid pick from Green Bay. He is the wide receiver one. Here we go. Let's see what gems we have in round nine, because I can't go through everything here. Uh, James Cook is going to be solid. I think New Era, this guy is a stash play. Uh, Elijah Moore, he's going to have another good year. Doesn't matter who's throwing the ball. My pick, it's going to be Kadarius Tony. If he's healthy, man, I got another wide receiver one in the team. Um, look, I'm not a fan of Gary Wilson, because I think Elijah Moore is going to have a better season. Rashad Penny is the number one wide run, uh, running back for the he's going to be the starting running back for the Seattle Seahawks Robert Woods not a fan of that pick Traylon Brooks is going to emerge in that team all right here we go um I mean I picked Chase Capel I'm probably going to end up trading this guy um I think George Pickens is going to pick his his uh his attempts and his targets who the hell picks up damn defense here South Florida come on South Florida spending on you better than this bro why are you picking a defense in round 10 another waste to pick you don't pick a defense in round 10 Michael Carter He's going he's gonna to get playing time, especially in the passing game. Chris Olave, great pick here by Maximus. He is going to be probably the top, my pick for the top rookie and probably rookie of the year. Solid pick by Tua Tonga Wailoa here. I'm, I'm okay with this. I'm really okay with this by waiver wire studs. Um, Trey Lance, yeah, you know, hey, it is what it is, man. It's second, um, I think that's the second, um, that's the second uh, quarterback. I think that's the second quarterback, if I'm not mistaken, by, uh, let me see if we go over here. We got, let me see here, to, uh, Trey Lance by New Era 8. The New Era 8, who the hell did he pick? Well, that's the first quarterback, right? I'm not, somebody correct me over here if I'm wrong, but I can go back anyway. Uh, let me see here, another Just Greedy. Listen, uh, Just Greedy, you know better than this, bro. Why are you picking a defense this early? All right, here we go. Round 11, more pump and dump here, and I'm going to give you some highlight picks here. Kirk Cousin, that was a good pick by Maximus. Uh, I pick Sky Moore. That's just a a, a dark throw. I'd see if it see if it hits. Um, 
Let me see here. Traylon Burke is going to, I think Traylon Burke is going to be the number one receiver over Woods in that team. Great pick, Cole Komet. I like Cole Komet in this round. Uh, just greedy right here. That's a good tight end who's going to get a lot of targets and is going to be a decent tight end. 10 points, 12 points a game. All right, Gallimard with uh, the Packers defense. Again, I don't pick defenses early. I went with Irv Smith because at this point, I am bargain binning at any position. Uh, Jarvis Landry for Team Cruz. That's kind of an iffy pick. It all depends on Chris Olave. Uh, and right here, man, that's when you probably start picking defenses. And I see Team Broadway with the Cowboys defense, which yeah, kind of, kind of, kind of blew his load there. Uh, Kenny Gallagher is gonna have another shitty season because if what's his name is healthy, um, Kadarius Tony and that rookie Well Robinson, uh, it's gonna take a lot of receptions away, a lot of targets away from um, from Kenny Galladay. Nicole Hardman, this is a good pick by Team Broadway. He will have a lot more opportunities right now. He should be wide receiver two or one because it's not a clear number one in that uh, wide receiver core for the um, the Kansas City Chiefs. I like J.D. McKissick. Great job by, uh, by Gallimard on Wednesday. That backfield is in turmoil after Robinson was shot. And then also Antonio Gibson kind of not coming in in the best shape. All right, let me see here. Who do we got? Derek Carr, great pick by Bringett. I am, I'm good with this. Derek Carr is going to have a good year this year. If uh, if Russell wasn't available, I was going to go Carr so I could stack him up with, uh, with Devontae Adams. Rashad White. By New York eight sleeper pick here. I think this kid eventually is gonna it's gonna do something in the backfield. He's 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 a Tom Brady kind of back, you know, James White kind of guy. You know what I'm saying? Um, let me see here. Rondo Moore by Maximus. That's again high at this point. Is a lot of dart throws. See what happens. I'm gonna go with Daryl Henderson because I am not a fan of uh, Acres, and I think he's gonna he's prone to injury. Samir White, Steeler here by uh, South Florida Spanish Ninja, who went early again diving in the dumpsters to get another one. Jalen Tober is my sleeper rookie wide receiver in this case because I'm thinking Gallup won't is going to be out for an extended period of time. All right, let me see another here. Look, Evan Ingram's going to have a good year with uh, Tennessee. I said it. He sucks, but he's going to have a good year with Tennessee. Uh, let me see a Marvin Jones Jr. You yeah, know, okay. But here's a, sleep, uh, a sleeper, Romeo Dobbs, because that wide receiver core is so, so dismantled that I think um, – Dobbs has had a great preseason and has, and has overtaken Christian Watson's stop, uh, spot, I mean. All right, that's what we got there. Let me see here. All right, round 15, man. What highlights do we have? Look, Mark Ingram is going to be the feature back if, all right, if Alvin Kamara gets nine games, which is what the rumor is. Justin Fields for Gallimard, that's a good right. I mean, one thing about Justin Fields, he may not give you a lot of over the air, but he's going to be running for his life, and he will score touchdowns. He's a running quarterback. I'll, I pick that. I'm okay with that. And at this point, this is when you start picking defenses and kickers. And there's not much to say in round 15. Round 16. Let's go, baby. Chargers D. I'm probably going to streamline these defense all along. South Florida Spanish Ninja with Logan Thomas. Solid pick. I think that's a, that's a good pick. And then pretty much the rest is history. Van Jefferson is looking solid, though, for Vicious. He might be a sleeper this year. And you know who else? Galamad on Wednesday. Man, I'm giving you too much credit, Galamad. All right? But Isaiah McKenzie, I think he might have a better year than Gabe Gabriel. I know. I know. I'm acting crazy, but I think so. So, hey, got about these nuts. Anyway, that was your recap. Uh, let's take a look at what's popping here right now in the league. Let's go back to the league here. And, uh, yo, fantasy football is in full effect. Let's take a look at the first week's matchup real quick. Boom. Let's go, baby. Let's see what we got here. Recap and rematch from last year's championship game where I completely annihilated Team Cruz. Get ready for the same. Rico and Team Broadway. Yo, Team Broadway, you know, has the projected total, but I don't believe in that shit. I give this game to, uh, this game to Team Broadway. New Era and Maximus. New Era is going to slap Maximus around, man. He has a really good team. Waiver Wire is studs and Vicious. Vicious is going to slap Waiver Wire. Team Bring It and Galamad on Wednesday. Yo, listen. Team Bring It always comes out with some shit here in the middle of nowhere and gets it going. But I think I'm going to give this one to Galamad. Galamad, listen, bro. I, I love you, man. I'm giving you a lot of credit, man. A lot of credit in this recap, this episode. Your, your name is Galamad on Wednesday has come out of my mouth a lot, all right? But again, Galamad, these nuts when you meet me in week three. Just Greedy, baby, in South Florida, Spanish Ninja. Just Greedy, a.k.a. former Cup These Nuts. Or Cup These Balls, I'm sorry. Against South Florida, Spanish Ninja. Wow. I think Ninja will win this matchup. Sorry, Just Greedy. It is what it is. You didn't have a great draft. 
your recap for the Midtown Brigade 2022 draft. Your boy E-Man signing out. Yo, have a great season. Peace.